Hey everyone, Sam McKay here from Enterprise DNA. So we're going to do a quick video here on median values and how you can use the median function or the median x function to achieve uh, the median result. Now, in some cases, the average is not going to work for us, right? It's going to maybe be swayed by outlier results. And so the median is a much better representation of where the middle or 50th percentile is in your particular data set. So what I've done, I've mocked up two things here. I, you know, I would hazard a guess that your data is obviously going to be a little bit different to this, but this is at least going to show you the technique, and then you can certainly take it from there. Now, it's not too difficult. The only things that you have to really have a handle on in terms of uh, you know, functionality with, with, with DAX is iterating functions. So it, understanding iterating functions and how you can apply a virtual table within an iterating function is going to enable you to uh, quite quickly achieve uh, these median results or, or, or calculate these median results. So I've got already set up here and I'm just going to walk through the, through, through the formula. Now, I guess the key thing to remember is that I've set up these tables for a reason, right? You might not want to actually show this table in your report page. You just might want the result. But I've set it up here because it's important to understand the structure of this table and how virtually you can create this table in a formula to then go and evaluate the result. So let's have a quick look at, the, at, at how you need to set this up. Now, the key thing is median x, right? What median x enables us to do is, and what any iterating function enables us to do, is iterate through a table. And that table can be a physical table, but it can also be a virtual table. Now, in this case, because we want to calculate the median per for each state, this, the sales per state, then we need to create a virtual table of this. We can't... Um, uh, in this case, we can't actually put the location table because the location is actually at a more granular level of detail. It's actually at the city. So, But we want to actually evaluate it at the state. So we need to somehow adjust our table. And so the way we adjust it is we can use summarize. Summarize is a function, a table function I use quite often. And I think it just works well. It's clean. It's easy. Easy to implement inside of these iterating functions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm basically recreating this table here, right? I'm recreating the state code column, and then I'm also creating this total sales column, but I'm calling it sales values. So we're going to, uh, at every single row, iterate through um, each different state, work out what the total sales is, and then the median is going to happen across all of our sales once all that iterating has been done, okay? And that's how we achieve the state median sales. And you see here, this is going to be the 50th percentile, and it's some somewhere sits in here. So I'll put the data bars in here to represent um, you know what we're looking at there. You know, and especially if you have a lot of outliers here, this is going to be quite relevant. Now, if I look down here, what I've done is I've showed you it's, it's a very reusable formula. You can reuse this in many different ways. So if we just have a quick look at the product here, you'll see here that. All I have done to get the product median sales is I've changed the virtual table that we are iterating through inside of this iterating function. And instead of creating a virtual table of the states, I've created one with a product name. So this exact table, I've just created it virtually. The product name is one column and then sales values is another um, column with total sales there. And then once uh, we iterate through all of those products, we then go and work out what the median is, the 50th, 50th percentile. And you'll see here that this is 355k, which in this case, if we look down here, is somewhere, somewhere in this table, somewhere, somewhere around here. So it's actually this exact value, products, uh, product 66, 68. So it's, it's actually returning us that exact value. That is what sits at the 50th percentile. Okay, so short and sweet today. Um, don't feel I need to expand too much on that. This is how you calculate a median of a you know, of of some of some type of um, dimension. So you might have a dimension in your uh, in your particular uh, model that you might want to evaluate over. And this is how you can work out the median of that specific dimension of some type of metric. Obviously it doesn't have to be sales, it could be anything, it could be any any number. You can just use exactly the same technique. Um, all you'd have to do is just apply this to your data set and, and you'd be away. You'd actually have your um, median values. 
Okay, I'm going to wrap, wrap things up around this. Hopefully um, you got a lot out of this one and, and can very quickly just basically copy and paste and apply this to your own models. Um, you know, it's pretty pretty easy to implement. Get get some cards in there that showcase um, showcases insight if it's relevant. Okay, all the best and I look forward to talking to you soon. Cheers.